Hello my dear friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel on LELP Society at LELP.net This session I will be teaching you another unit of 1100 words you need to know Week 31, Day 2 Week 31, Day 2 Okay, new words All right. So the first word is propagate. <coughs> propagate means produce, multiply, spread. Uh, yeah. And also a noun form with the same root is propaganda. Anomaly. Anomaly means uh, irregularity, abnormality. And the adjective form is anomalous. Okay. Incongruous. I'm sorry, innocuous. Innocuous means in innocent, harmless, mild, innocuous, benign. Surfeit. Surfeit means an excess. Uh, American English, excess British English. Here we have uh, an excess of something, a plethora of something, superabundance, a large quantity of something, which is more than enough. There are so many cookies just in one single plate. Milieu, British English, milieu. American English. It means environment and setting. Okay, now let's see how these words have been used in the context. Words in context. A free society. In a free society, pay attention, I am reading the text corresponding to week 31, day 2 of the uh, English vocabulary, 1100 words you need to know. In a free society, it is intrinsic. Intrinsic British English, intrinsic American English. Means it is necessary, innate, it is essential that individuals and groups have the inherent. Again, actually, I try to just uh, uh, teach you the two basic versions of English that is British and American and uh, you yourself can opt for one of them okay uh, these groups uh, have their inherent British inherent or inherent American English they have this uh, innate and intrinsic right to propagate ideas to spread ideas they have this freedom to speak their mind and try to win converts convert as a noun means uh, actually a person who uh, changes uh, his or her religion so they can convince others actually to uh, change their religion we do not look upon look upon means think about something or somebody in a particular way consider look upon for example edith was looked upon uh, as an eccentric person by his close friends eccentric means uh, uh, not socially acceptable so we do not look upon an idea consider an idea different from ours as an abnor as an anomaly anomaly means something that is different in a negative way generally anomaly that should be precluded means prevented prevented okay nor do we permit only pay attention to this structure nor has been used 
and uh, written at the very beginning of this sentence and therefore we have an inversion the the form of this sentence or clause is a question form but it's not a question it's a statement so because of that inver inversion I was talking about nor do we permit or allow only innocuous means uh, harmless or congenial means pleasant suitable beliefs and forbid or prohibit those that we believe are dubious means suspicious and not honest or frank or candid or straightforward or spurious spurious means insincere specious i'm sorry specious s-p-e-c-i-o-u-s means insincere not honest okay <clears throat> In a country of competing pressures, we are accosted by, means approached, addressed by a surfeit of propaganda. Pro propaganda propaganda uh, refers to misleading information that is spread throughout the society. Propaganda. So we are accosted by a surfeit of propaganda that tends to overwhelm us control us in a negative way uh, that is the meaning of overwhelming overshadow us control us thus thus means uh, it has two basic meanings in this way or manner and then with this result here it means with uh, with this result accordingly therefore we live in a milieu of ubiquitous everywhere prevalent bombardment from countless and often unrecognized propagandists because of that therefore as a result consequently we live in a place which is replete with uh, countless uh, and often unrecognized propagandists, those who propagate propaganda. Okay, sample sentences. I must inveigh against your attempt to propagate the belief that uh, your political system will results in a panacea for all problems inveigh means criticized denounce defy the efy against your attempt or trial to propagate to spread the information the belief that your political system will result in means end in to make something happen to cause to end in a panacea means cure all c u r e dash a l l panacea a remedy for all problems so the person actually doesn't believe that the proposed political solution or political system actually will provide a panacea for all the problems number two it is incongruous means anomalous means uh, it's not harmonious to find an abstemious person in a milieu of avarice and affluence so it's insensible illogical or it's not based on harmony actually it doesn't have any congruity to find an abstemious, a person who is very careful about what he or she eats, particularly eating, or what they do, or how they act. They have abstinence. Person in a place of avarice means greed, G-R-E-E-D, and affluence means wealth, extreme wealth. Siamese twins means conjoined twins 
you know, twins that are born uh, with their bodies attached to each other, which is a kind of birth anomaly, are considered or looked upon, do you remember, a birth anomaly. Yeah. Uh, Siamese twins. There appears to be no such thing as an incon uh, innocuous heresy. Innocuous heresy. There seems to be no such thing as innocuous heresy. Okay. Uh, means benign or har harmless heresy means a bit disbelief or change of belief let's say unbelief where when you change your ideology particularly in reference to religion number five when can we expect a respite american english respite british english um, from the surface of from the surface of TV commercials, it's a rhetorical question. Generally, whose answer is already clear? When can we expect a respite? It means a state of uh, uh, having a lot of rest and relaxation. You get some rest. You take some rest in the middle of so much activity from the surface of TV commercials. We should get rid of them. And the idiom for today, without rhyme or rhythm, I mean, rhyme or reason, without rhyme or reason. As you can see in this photo, this lady is vacuum cleaning the top of the mountain, which is really a stupid act. So, Actually, what she has done is without rhyme or reason, making no sense. Without rhyme or reason, the pennant. Pennant, uh, it refers to championship in some, in some sports such as baseball, and uh, which is symbolized by a triangular flag. So it refers to championship. The pennant winning baseball team decided to jettison. Jettison means get rid of its manager. So it doesn't make sense when the team is so successful that they just uh, uh, have championship. Uh, and then actually after that, uh, achieving that, uh, the apex or the zenith of their uh, sport. Uh, let's say um, success when they reach that level of success then they decide to get rid of the manager doesn't make sense that's why it is without rhyme or reason okay thank you very much for your attention please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for upcoming videos thank you and bye bye